Hi guys, I just thought it's time for an update with my transition, you know, videos. It's 2023, March, so that would be five years almost since I started my hormone treatment. And it would be three years since I had my bottom surgery, which was in March 2020. Um, yeah, so I had five surgeries. I had my bottom, that's number one, my breast with revision of bottom, that's number two, then I had my face, that's number three, and then I had my hair transplant, that's number four, and then I had my revision for my rhinoplasty, which is number five. Um, yeah, that's, that's me basically right now. A lot of things changed in my, you know, attitude towards myself I think um, I think I grew up you know I think in the beginning of transition I was like everything was new I didn't understand what I'm doing all I knew was that I didn't like my body and I it was a you know a rage against you know the fact that I'm in the wrong body and I wanted so much to leave that body and get a new one, get a female body. And now, when I look at myself, like maybe naked in a mirror, you know, um, I just have a smile on my face and, you know, because this is how I feel like now. I feel happy. I feel just, yeah, I just feel like confident with myself, you know very content i'd say content with myself um, so yeah transition does change everything for you and if you are a um, transgender like me and you feel like you really needed your transition because not everyone feels like they need all these surgeries and so, so on but in my case i really needed my transition because i really needed to have a proper woman body with all the details of woman body you know and um, yeah, you, you get surprised, like for example, uh, well, my breasts didn't want to grow on hormones, they grew a little bit, but uh, yeah, I got implants for, for 5cc, but my boom, my boom doesn't need anything, it's huge, it just grew on hormones, on its own, and I also do a lot of hiking and figure skating, so boom grows, you know, that's not, not an issue whatsoever. I have a decent waist actually, so that makes me very happy. And you know, yeah. So it takes effort. You start with like it's a new story. You start as a in my case, you start. I started. I started as a guy, okay. And you could really say that I was just cross dressing. A guy who was cross dressing was just like, you know, that it's completely different now. It's completely different now. now um, I'm just me, you know, it's, it's, it's such a difference for me, like, I just know this is now me, my body, and back then I was using this cross-dressing as a mask to, 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 to you know, to, to hide from the world, you know, to hide from the world the fact that I'm a mom. And right now I don't have to hide myself from anyone, you know, it's, it's different, it's like, like imagine you are hiding all your life yourself from people, you're just hiding yourself. You just like you don't want to show yourself to people because you don't believe this is this is the you that you want them to see and, and now it's now i'm like going out like yeah people look at me you know i'm bringing this sunshine into this space where i am in you know and I'm, because i'm happy you know look around at people around you see people can you tell they are happy that's the problem i think happiness is you know so scarce these days it's really hard to find someone who's genuinely happy inside not just happy because they saw something funny but happy because they really are happy with their life and you know i might be right now jobless and looking for a new job but i am happy inside and that's i think the most important thing anyway thank you guys for watching and Probably looking for the next updates in some time. Bye.